Hey y'all, it's me again, Valerie. Welcome back to my yarn room. Yay! Okay. I apologize that I have not put up a stitch tutorial. Um, might be able to do that tomorrow. Don't know yet. Um, chaos, you know, life. <laughs> uh, yesterday was a holiday. Um, my husband did not feel good, so he didn't even go to work. Um, my daughter just bought a new vehicle. Um, all kinds of stuff. It's just been, phew. but I wanted to come on here and I wanted to show y'all some, uh, items that I found and purchased. Um, I, I went to my local Dollar Tree. Um, now some of y'all might call it. Uh, dollar plus tree or things like that. I don't know. Because they a lot of them have the three to five dollar aisle. Mine does. But I tend to try to stay away from that aisle. Yeah. Alright. So anybody who knows me knows that I have an obsession with reusable shopping bags. And obsession. <laughs> I, I have probably a hundred of them. But I use them for project bags. Because most everywhere where I live don't charge for bags or well i don't know let me rephrase that most everywhere where i live in my area that charge for shopping bags um i don't shop there <laughs> oh there's a couple of places that i do go that charges but I take my own. <laughs> All right. Before I show y'all what I what I purchased, um, let me do my little shebang. Um, I would like to invite anybody who has not already to hit that word subscribe. When you do, give the videos a thumbs up, share them if you can, and leave me a comment. All right, on to the goodies. I only have five to show today, and four of them are shopping bags. Okay. Um, yesterday being uh, St. Patrick's Day, um, and I, I was going to have corned beef and cabbage, because, you know, that's tradition. But, we had uh, taco salads with my daughter and granddaughter. Alright. Oh. I'm tired. I mean, my hair is a mess. I, I just... Uh, sorry. Life got me. <laughs> Alright. Let me show you these bags. I got to put my glasses on because it's got words on it. And even though they're big words, I still can't see them without my glasses. All right. Yesterday was, like I said, St. Patrick's Day. But the next holiday coming up is Easter. And I did not have... I can't say I didn't have. 
but I don't have very many uh, spring and cheerful project bags. So, I have hair coming down in my face. Okay, that might help. I don't know. All right, this is the first one. And it says, make today amazing. And it's got a butterfly. I love butterflies. Okay. That's one. This one suits me. Start every day with a smile. And these, these are pretty big bags because, I mean, it's got the box bottom, so they open up pretty good. So, and they were a dollar. Oh, the straps and the words. Start Every day with a smile. Well, no. They were not a dollar. They were a dollar twenty-five. Because it's dollar twenty-five tree. All right. And then we have this one. Enjoy the little things. And I mean, you can see, they they pretty good size bags. For a dollar twenty-five. All right, and then we have this one. Choose happiness. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. <laughs> Y'all forgive me. Like I said, it has been crazy. And I am crazy. All right. Now, as we was leaving the craft section, I came across something else. I'm missing an item. Hold on a minute. Okay, I'm back. I found that item. All right. Um, I seen this and was like, I need that. It is a Lazy Susan, supposed to be for pencils and paintbrush, and it says it's an organizer. It's, um, it's a Lazy Susan, so it spins, and I got it because I have a ton of, well, these, for instance. And I have all kinds of um, antique crochet hooks that don't have the ergonomic handle, the, the fat handle. But I think some of these will hold the ergonomic handle. So, yeah. Um, but I got this to put my um, crochet hooks in. Yeah. Okay, now, back to another one. And these are uh, Crafters Square. Uh, the crochet hook uh, Lazy Susan. And this item that I'm getting ready to tell you, or show you. I found this on my way out of the craft section. 
And I did not know that Dollar Tree sold crochet kits. Did not know it. And I think it's adorable. You got your, uh, like, terracotta, um, it's actually brown, but I'm going to say it's terracotta. Anyway, you got your little pot that it's in, and then you got a darker brown here that's supposed to be the dirt, and then this is the, the flower to, to go in it. Anyway, and on the back, it tells you everything that comes with it. Okay, so, you get... Um, it says 141 feet of yarn. So you get the light brown, the dark brown, and the, the pink. This is the only kit that I found at that Dollar Tree. But don't think for one minute I ain't gonna look all over the place for more in different ones. Okay, but it comes with the three kinds of yarn. It comes with one of the um, the little stitch markers, the little plastic safety pin looking one. Okay, and it comes with a crochet hook. Yeah, and it comes with one of the uh, plastic darning needles, and it comes with the polyfill. Four grams of stuffing. Okay, and the instructions. All right, let's open it up. I think this is just cool. Okay, well, there's the instructions. And let's see how simple they are. I'm going to open them up. Okay. Well, it looks like the pot and the dirt are mainly single crochets. And the pot actually has some double crochets on it. And let's see. All right. And it looks like the flower comes in three different sizes. You got the the large leaf, the medium leaf, and the small leaf. And it looks like they're all single crochet. Sounds pretty simple, standard to me. Let's pull this kit out. Okay, well right here you have your, your polyfill. And there's your stitch marker. Just your little plastic safety pin looking stitch marker all right and you got your light brown there's some dark brown and there's your pink and there's a darning needle now it does look like it's about a three weight yarn but y'all know if that's not your yarn of choice the uh the three weight well, it looks like just scrap yarn, and not a lot. Use your four weight. Let's see what size that hook is. Okay, it's a three millimeter, which is right for a um a three weight yarn. That's that's about right. Hey. I think this is a jackpot. And even if I don't use the actual kit, the instructions are worth a dollar twenty-five to me. Yeah. It might not be worth a dollar twenty-five to you. But to me, Having those instructions on making that pretty little flower in the flower pot, yeah, I think it's worth it. Now, you know, 
I'm not going to follow the instructions. The, unless it's baking. I look at it like this. A crochet pattern is just like cooking. It's just a guideline. You have to think outside the box. You have to change things and make it your own. That's how new designs and new patterns are born. Not following the directions. <laughs> okay, I said you have to, but you don't. You don't. If you want to stick to it and just do it exactly like somebody else says to do it, hey, that ain't for me to, to say nothing about. I can't do that cannot do that. I have to change it. Have to. So, when I make this, I'll show you how I changed it. And, yet again, I have another crochet hook that I need this for. All right, y'all. That's going to be all for today. And uh, I will meet y'all back here in the next one for another grand adventure right here in Val's Yarn Room. And I know my sign is droopy, but it's okay. <laughs> no, it's not. It drives me crazy. <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, I, I truly do love each and every single one of y'all to pieces. And do something nice for somebody. Even if it's just a smile. Like, like that one bag says, start each day with a smile. Those bags just spot on with giving me good advice to keep in for the day. And I, I sometimes need that because sometimes life gets to me and I just, <clears throat> <laughs> oh, all right, y'all, not going to hold you up any longer. Get your crochet on. I'm gonna. Bye, y'all.